everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi, hope everyone's having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, evening, overnight, whatever you've got going on. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And as you can see from the big old box sitting in front of us, we are doing an unboxing. What, what? So, um, you can tell, I'm sure, you've seen the back of this box so many times here on this channel and other channels, but this is going to be from Diamond Art Club. So um, this is a kit that came out this year as part of their um, anniversary releases, and I have been holding on to this for a while because I was just so excited to crack into it, but I've been saving it for like I want to do like a little special unboxing at some point. So special just in the sense that I think this kit is really special. And I'm sure you may have seen it before. Otherwise, you know, if this is your first time seeing this kit, um, I'm so excited to crack this open together. We're talking about What Lies Beneath by Dakota Dittweiler. And this is um, a square 70 by 88. Um, from what I remember, this is kind of one of the more popular kits from the anniversary releases and I was lucky enough to get my hands on it, and I've been itching to crack it open. So here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But, uh, but yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, let me know in the comments if this is a kit that you've already, you picked up yourself or is on your wish list or, um, you know, what you think about it. Because it is kind of some different artwork, but it absolutely spoke to me. I love kind of under the sea vibes. I love that kind of like, uh, big Leviathan kind of, what is the name of like the large, the big octopus? <laughs> um, um, but I love that kind of um, mythology kind of stuff. So um, you can tell that this is a square canvas or a square drill, A, because it says square shape drill here, or square diamond shape square, not squ what? what did I just say? Diamond shape square. You also have a square here. It says square diamonds. So that's kind of how you can tell. Um, you've got some basic instructions here on the back, um, and then you've also got some, um, just some product description. So we've got our little baby photo here. I have the uh, camera zoomed out quite a bit because this is a big in, so we're going to need the space. And I'm doing a little bit of a different angle here in hopes to get some minimal um, glare, but who knows? I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with this format or not. So bear with me as I continue to kind of play and adjust. So inside your box, you're going to have your canvas with your diamonds or your drills in the little protective cover. You've got a little mini sticker here that you can use for log books or to put on the side of the box, whatever you want to do with it, essentially. And then you also have a toolkit. So let's start with the toolkit and crack this open. See what we've got inside. A whole bunch of goodies. Awesome. Okay. Set that aside. I'm going to set our sticker aside. So we've got a, oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay. We'll get to that. Hold on. Um, we've got a bag full of baggies. You can use these to um, store your excess diamonds. You can even work out of these if you see fit. Pretty much whatever you want to do with a little um, puck of baggies or a little stack of baggies. You also have um, your diamond painting pen and uh, diamond painting tray. So this has a single placer. You can place one drill at a time with that, or you can utilize the two multi-placers here. You have a four and a seven. You just pop those on the opposite end of that pen. So now you can place more than one diamond at a time. And with the drill tray or the diamond tray, you also get a stopper. So you just pour your diamonds in there, place them out of the tray. And then when you're all done, you can put those back into those baggies. So there's that and that and this. We also get a comfort grip with this. I like kind of the orange and green combo. It's giving me some Halloween vibes. Nice. There's that. We also have diamond painting wax, two plates of it in a little container. Um, and this is what you're going to utilize to, um, to affix the diamonds to your diamond painting pen. You're just going to press uh, firmly into there to collect some of the wax, and then you're ready to rock and roll. And then we have tweezers. These are pink ombre tweezers. You get these with all square drill canvases. And I'm going to, one moment, please. <laughs> 
Okay, sorry about that. I took a look down at my hands. I was like, oh, I was playing with the dogs and they were getting mouthy and we were playing with toys and I was grabbing treats. And so I was like, let me just, let me just clean those up a little bit. So last couple of things that you're going to have in your kit, you're going to have a cover minder. It looks like the, um, the actual uh, magnet came off the back. I've seen this a number of times with some of these Diamond Art Club um, cover minders is the adhesive isn't the best or it just has trouble adhering or curing. So I have had to do this a couple times, just give it a good press. But essentially, um, you have one magnet on your actual little macaroon. This is a little green macaroon, very cute. Um, so you're gonna place that on top of the canvas um, where you've folded back your um, cover paper or plastic cover. And then you're gonna come up from underneath the canvas and stick that magnet on there so it holds that piece of plastic back. So you aren't fussing with it while you're diamond painting, it's kind of out of the way. So I don't do that, I section off all my canvases uh, with um, release paper. And if you've ever seen me do like a kitting up, you may have seen that here and there. Um, so I just use these mainly for decoration. So I'm gonna pop it over here on my little metal shelf and now I've got a little uh, decoration. And then the last thing that we have is a roll of washi tape. This is really pretty washi tape. Doesn't really fit the theme of the canvas, but they do, I think it's just random. But this is a really pretty, really, this is a really pretty uh, pink floral with like kind of gold foil detail. Wow, that's actually really nice, cool. So that's everything that you're going to find in your toolkit. Let's go ahead and crack open this canvas. This thing is hefty, hefty, hefty. <laughs> All right. So I'm just removing the little dust cover here. Pop that in here, pop that in here. Okay. And then inside we're going to have our drills. Holy moly, that is... That's quite the pack of drills. Oh my gosh, those colors though. I can't wait, I'm so excited. Um, okay, so we have inside a more detailed instruction booklet as well as a thank you with some discount codes. Um, so instructions in some different languages, tips and tricks. Then we're also gonna get our larger um, sticker sheet. So we've got our larger image here, what lies beneath, Dakota Dittweiler, 70 by uh, 88 centimeter square drill and we're working with 51 colors here and one two three four a b's so there's our sticker sheet look at those shades of like blues this is gonna be a really like cool toned canvas i can't wait look at those trees oh my gosh let's take a look <laughs> okay so as per usual i'm going to turn my head up facing away from the canvas and the best i can oh gosh Roll it backwards, because I don't want to see it. Uh, eh. Oh, I'm not doing a really good job of rolling this. Um, as I'm rolling this, I will say, um, you know, as I say on um, uh, my Diamond Art Club, and I think the majority, I don't think I have any non-poured glued kits in my stash anymore, maybe one. Um, but poured glue is a method, um, it's almost kind of like a screen method of putting um, adhesive onto the canvas. That method allows it to be a little bit more resilient while also being um, a little bit more um, workable. Like it's just uh, drills sit on it a little bit nicer. You can make adjustments to your drills if you need to without damaging the adhesive. And um, I just, I've, I've really liked working on it so far. I've only worked on uh, par two partially finished double-sided adhesive canvases and I wasn't the biggest fan. So. Um, okay, so we're going to lay this out um, kind of going across just so you can get as much as I or I can get as much in the screen the shot as possible. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? Are you are, is everyone freaking out or am I just the only one freaking out? <laughs> oh wow. Oh cool. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Okay. All right. Shut it all down. <laughs> um, Amazing, I love it. Let's scoot this down. Da -da. There you go, you pretty much get the whole image in there. This is a big canvas. Oh, I cannot wait to see what this looks like worked up. I feel like the, the hues on the rendering are a little bit more muted than we'll see in the drills. And once you get that glisten and shine, it's just gonna make it look like it's in that ocean and it's just spark, the water is just kind of sparkling. So amazing, you have the, big, you know, octopus here. 
um, bubbles coming up and then the top of it is that island it's got the ship in one of its tentacles we've got a fish here um, I forget if it's like a clownfish or something I forget what that is um, and then a lot of detail here in the rocks and kind of coral at the bottom um, and then like a little another little iceberg over there so Amazing. Um, I'm going to pause you just for a moment. I'm going to go ahead and take these drills out, um, but I'm going to try to avoid the, the crinkle that happens with that. And then when I come back, we'll dive into the drills. All right. I'm kind of noticing that the, the, the angle that I'm trying to work with didn't necessarily adjust the glare too much. So it's a very interesting little like twists and turns that I've done to get it like this and it doesn't really seem to be paying off that much. Let me know what you think if this looks better from a from a reflection standpoint than other videos I've done, then let me know. Otherwise, I might just go back. See how you it's just that that ring light. Anyway, you don't need to see me fuss with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about these uh, diamonds or drills. Um, in no particular order, I'm just going to grab them, but I will be cutting out all of our ABs. That way we can talk about where those are going to be placed when we're all done. So, all right, kicking off some 310. You gotta love it. One, two, three, four bags of 310. Not too bad. 834, 820. We've got one, two, three, four bags of 820. 995, one, two, three bags of that. And 796, one, two, three, four, five, six bags of that. Wow. And then 141, two big bags of ABs. Wow, that's a lot. Oh my goodness, I think that's the most I've ever seen in a kit before. Let's go ahead and set those there. Put these behind us. And keep going. Let's grab this one. We've got 3814, 119, our second AB, kind of a, a purple. Not, not deep, not lavender, somewhere in the middle there. Boop. 318, 37.55, 140, our next AB, kind of a teal, slightly teal color. Maybe a little bit more blue. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Don't want to miscut that. Uh, so that's going to go up here. Uh, there we go. Okay. 30, or 336, 598, two bags of that. 120, our next AB, two big bags of that as well. Wow, this thing is going to really sparkle. Holy moly. You're not kidding on this one. Hopefully that means it'll be easy to identify where those ABs are. I think that might be all of our ABs. Yeah, I think so. Maybe... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we had more than four. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll, we'll keep going. 996, two bags. 823, one, two, three, four, five bags of 823. And boom, right away, there's our, I guess, fifth AB. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess five. Miscounted there. 134, kind of a, a nice uh, kiwi kind of green. All right, so we should be able to get through the rest of these quickly. 728, 701, 869, 938, 935, 413, 992, 699, 838, 3828, 420, 3051. Look at that kind of mossy green. 3760, 3071, 3011. I love that green too. Wow. 327, 312, and 154. Let's go ahead and get all of these out of our way. Okay, last strand. I think so. Yeah, and it's a long one. <laughs> 209, 414, 890, 415, 550, 3855, 3012, 799, 3325, 3811, two bags. 37.56, two bags. 38.41, 38.43, two bags. 8.33, 7.75, two bags. And then one more straggler of 3.10. So I think a total of six bags of 3.10. Um, so yeah, let's see. I can't believe I missed an AB, but yeah, there is five. There's a total of five, my bad. 
Um, so let's take a look and see where these go, starting with number one, which is our 119. That's our kind of purple color. And it looks like that's going to be down here in the stone kind of coral business down here, that lighter um, or medium purple is where that's going to go. So we'll place that here. Number two is going to be 120, and that's our bluish color. And if I had to guess, I'm going to probably need to go over on this side of the canvas. You see it all here in the, the foam and the, the crest of the waves here. We're seeing a little bit in the ship as well. And then it looks like we've got some in the detailing down the octopus on all of the tentacles. So that's really well spread out, but a, a good for focus of it is up here. Um, there's a huge color blocking section of that AB right here. So it's really gonna sparkle right in this area. Um, oh, it's so cool, I'm so excited. Um, 134, number three, if I had to guess, yep, just a little sprinkling of it right here on the, um, the top of the island, or the top of the head. <laughs> um, number four is 140, and that's going to be that little bit more teal, slightly deeper color, um, and that's number four, and we're going to find that possibly back up here. There is only a little bit of this, so I might struggle finding it. Number fours, number fours. Maybe it's back down here. Yes, here's some here. Um, and might that might be? Oh no, I see it kind of sprinkled throughout um, here and here. So there, it's little patches, but I'm seeing a good portion of it down here in this area. So I'm gonna place that there, and then 141 is number five, and that's gonna be pretty much the majority of the white. There's one shade that's slightly more white whitish green but starting from the bubbles in the fish here and big sections boom 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 like big sections up here so that's really gonna sparkle wow 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 it's kind of cool because as you get deeper you notice like down here in the depth so there is some white ab here um but it gets lighter as it move, works its way up towards the top much like the um, the actual image so they've really done a good job of kind of creating that same effect um this is definitely going to be a kit that i'm going to be doing uh quite a few adjustments on um utilizing dp with sparklers and i might even do that this week is even though i don't plan on starting this is place that order just to have them ready to go but you can see here that we have that reflection is much more of kind of it's almost like a neon and it's almost kind of glowing. So I would love to find blue glow sparklers or blue glow, glow glass to pretty much do all of the highlighting here and um, embellish it a little bit. Um, I could also see myself pulling some blues. Um, I, and then the fish in general, I, I kind of want to see what the colors are charted for that. And I really want to bling that out and pretty much do like a ton of sparklers here as well like glass sparklers um and maybe do i'm not sure if i want to do metallics but i really want to light this thing up <laughs> um, um and and do a lot of glow so i'm thinking the fish might get a, a glow um kind of enhancement i'm thinking the coral all at the bottom will get a really cool glow enhancement um yeah, I just think it'll be so awesome. Um, definitely want to do something with the eyes too. Maybe even bringing some gold metallic into all the yellow and gold here, doing more metallic. I'm not sure, but I really have some plans for this one to kind of turn it into something a little bit more wild. <laughs> but as it's charted with the drills that you're going to get from Diamond Art Club, this is a fantastic kit as is. They've given you plenty to add some sparkle and enhancement to this. Um, but this was just one that I immediately saw and was like, I, I want this thing to glow in the dark. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But uh, let me know if you have any questions, if you've worked on this kit before, um, if it's one that's on your wish list, uh, or if you have any um, questions about more of the detail about the canvas. Some of the things I typically skip with Diamond Art Club are things like uh, symbol clarity is always on point, never had an issue I've, unbox plenty of them and haven't run into any issues there. Um, they're just kind of that really, really trustworthy 
that diamond painting company that you can lean on for consistency, for quality, and for really great customer service. So there's not a ton to dive into there. Um, if you know them, you probably love them, but I can't wait. I can't wait to work on this kit. Um, I can't wait to do some um, charting of my own to kind of see where I might enhance these colors and order some specialty drills to really make this thing um, pop. So yeah, any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, anyone that uh, you think that might take some value out of this content. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks again and happy placing. Bye, 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 bye.